Now in this question, okay, this is one of the very good question. So question is based on the static variable, right? And also bitwise the operators. Is that clear? Right? So understand here, static variable is there and okay, bitwise operators are there. Let's try to understand here is a, this is a static variable and this is a static variable. So when this kind of question is given, okay, now you cannot execute the question, complete the five iterations. Let's say you are having i equal to 5, i greater than 0, you are executing the code for 5 times. So, you cannot execute the code for complete 5 iterations. You please execute the code for 1 or 2 iterations and you understand the behavior of the function, what the function is actually doing, what the function is actually performing. So, generally many students will have a doubt and difficulty in solving this question. So, please okay, pay attention, okay, what is happening here. So, the static integer x equal to 0, static variable, everybody knows the rule. The rule is what a static variable, okay, memory allocated only once, it is created only once and initialized only once at the compile time, at the compile time. Is that clear? Right. So, please understand here. So, I am solving the problem, i equal to 5. First time, i greater than 0. So, i value is what a 5. So, 5 greater than 0 condition is true. Condition is true, you say x equal to x plus total of i. So, in the total you are passing which value? 5. Okay. So, that 5 is received into what? Uh, v. So, that is received here. Static integer counts. Static. Okay. Static means memory already allocated compile time. At the run time, you simply skip that because by looking at the static, you simply skip because memory already allocated the compile time. So, CPU is not going to do anything. So, while v. So, v may kya pass kar rahe? 5. So, now count equal to this. Everybody knows this is called as a compound statement. Compound statement, count equal to count plus v and 1. So, v and 1, first you make, v value is what? 5. That is 1, 0, 1. And remember, this is bitwise and operator. Bitwise and, so you make 1, 1 and karogi. So, that will be 1. So, now 1 will be added to what? Count. So, count value becomes 1. And next you say v equal to v right shift by 1. When you say right shift by 1, right side 1 bit will be what? Removed. Right side 1 bit is removed. So, now this value becomes 1, 0. So, 1, 0 ko 1 say and karenge fir se. Uh, 1, 0 means again you pass. 1, 0 means 2 here. So, while v, while v may 2 pass kare. 2 means what? Uh, true. Because all non-zero is considered as a true and 0 is considered as a false. So, that is the true. If it is true, you go inside. So, you say count equal to count plus v and 1. So, again you say, okay, 1 say and karoge. So, that is the, okay, 0 here. 1 and kare to kya hoga? That will be 0 here. Correct? So, 0 will be added to count. So, there is no change. There is no change. Now, again you say v right shift by 1. When you say right shift by 1 here, when you say right shift by 1, then what is going to happen? Okay, again. So, this will remain what? 1. Right side 1 bit will be removed and left side may 0 will be padded. Okay? So, that is the behavior of the right shift operator. Okay? And next, now understand next time you are having 1, when you pass 1, while v, when you pass 1, okay, 1 is what? Non-zero. So, non-zero means true. So, again you say count equal to count plus v and 1. So, when you say 1, 1 say and karenge. So, 1, 1 means what? 1 and 1, 1. Okay, right. So, then that 1 will be added to count. So, count value becomes 2 here. And next time when you say v right shift by 1, so this side remove, okay, it will remove this 1 also and only you will remain 0. So, next time when you pass 0 in the while, so the condition becomes false. So, you come out of the while loop and return count. So, that count will be added to what? x. So, x was 0. So, what is added? Okay, count value 2 hai. So, 2 will be added. So, now just understand the behavior, behavior of the function. Okay, you can understand, make a proper observation. What is the value we have passed? 5. We have passed 5. So, how many times here the count is incremented? When you pass 5, how many times count is incremented? 2 times count is incremented. Why? Because you are performing AND operation with 1. AND operation with 1. It means what? What is the function doing? The function is counting the number of binary 1s in the given decimal number. Whatever the decimal number you are passing, how many binary ones are there? That many times the count is getting incremented. So, here you passed, okay, decimal value of the 5. 
So in the five, how many binary ones are there? Two binary ones are there. So that is the reason two times the count is incremented. So the next time, now it is very easy. Next time when you are going to pass i minus minus, you pass i value as the, okay, so four. So see this here, four greater than zero. When you are passing four here, so four means, four may how many times one is there? How many times one is there? Two, only one time one is there. One double zero is a four. Binary value of the four, one double zero. Right? So, when you are having one double zero here, how many times count incremented next time? Only one time count will increment. So, now the count will increment one time. So, that will become three. And remember that three will be added to what? X. So, that three will be added to X. So, two plus three that becomes what? Five. So, next time you pass three. So, three may how many ones are there? Two ones are there. Two ones are there means how many times count increment? Two times. So, this will become five. That 5 will be added to what x. So, that will become what 10. And next you are going to pass 2 here. In the 2, how many 1s are there? Only 1, 1. So, 1 time count is incremented. So, that is 6. That 6 will be added to this. So, that will become 16. And next time you pass 1 here. So, 1 means how many 1s are there? Only 1. So, 1 time okay, count is incremented 7. That 7 will be added to 16. So, that will be what 23. Okay. So, next time you have what? 0. So, here, okay, I value becomes 0. So, 0 greater than 0 condition becomes false. So, when that becomes false, you come out of the for loop and you simply print x. What is the x value you are having now? So, 23. Okay. So, 23 will be printed on the screen. 23 will be printed on the screen. So, this is how you need to, okay, solve the problem. When this kind of question is given, so just understand the behavior of the function. Because in the exam, you need to solve maximum 2 minutes or 3 minutes. Okay. So, you understand the behavior, what the function is actually doing. And accordingly, you can execute the remaining iterations. Is that clear? So, the right answer for this particular question is what? 23.